Are you ready to get the hydrofacial glow? Loved in 87 countries across the world. It's not a facial, it's a hydrofacial. Now available across the UK. Visit hydrofacial.co.uk to find your nearest location. this is what is it 15 we've done 15. that's amazing isn't it and the thing is we've had so many lovely treatments but we must before we start we've got to say like and subscribe to us on youtube yes and follow and us also, on instagram at the dot beauty yeah. angels and if you haven't watched the past programs go back and have a look because there's lots of interesting stuff and last week or last show i think it was the show before um it showed me having some Morpheus 8, and now you've had it done, haven't you? Yes, and I had um, ulcerapy before it. Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. Oh, a similar yeah. thing. No, well, the ulcerapy goes deeper into the skin, and the Morpheus 8 is, is for the top layer, isn't it, really? That's what it does, because it gets the collagen going. So I... I you know, went there. I had, you know, I had the the um, ulcerapy, which is actually it was it was okay. It, it didn't hurt. Uh, the first one I ever had was quite painful, but not not too. It's not too bad. But this time it was really, really. You know, it's much lighter. The machines. I think I probably had ulcerapy about five years ago for the first time. So now in five years, all the machines are. You know, they're really advanced. Oh, they're so much better because I think I went ten years ago, and. Um... Well, Lucy came with me and she was holding my hand. I was crying. It was so painful. But yeah. obviously, moved on since then. Um, and I don't actually yeah, it's think... it's not at all now. I remember no. how big the machine was then. It was, it yeah. was a massive machine. Well, now it's a tiny little thing. Tiny handheld device. So it, it's really, really different. So anyway, I had that. And, and also, you would never have been able to have a morphia, say, after that treatment. You wouldn't have been strong no. enough with it. No. So, you know, to have one treatment like that and the other one straight afterwards, it's completely different. So, so um, and then, you know, then I had to wait for an hour with the um, with the stuff on my Numbing face. Crap. Yeah. And then, um, yes, and then the morphia, say, which was, it, it's a bit like being stapled, isn't it? Well, the first bit round is like a pad of needles sort of, prodding you which didn't hurt too much but then they go over it again with a deeper one don't they and that uh, with your eyes shut you just feel like someone's got a staple gun yeah um, obviously it doesn't hurt as much as that but it that's that's the motion and that's what it feels like and that's what it sounds like as well yeah. doesn't it yeah but, um we've really got to wait three months before we can give the final results um and i've had two sessions on it i think you're gonna have to miss your second one aren't you because you're yeah. you're off yeah. I'm away, but I think the um, they said I can wait. He, he said he, he's actually pleased that I'm going away. So to see if I do need a second one because I'm perfect. Well, you yes, I'm surprised you had any treatment because you really don't need anything done because you are Miss Perfect, Miss P. Yes, Miss P. I am Miss Perfect. But um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to wait and see what happens. But uh, well, we'll, we'll, was, we'll be able to show everyone, won't we? We'll be yeah. able to go in three months because I, I think it... it finishes doing its thing after three months because your body's making the collagen and then it lasts for anything to a year to two years um but I can see the difference already especially with the little lines here have gone and but I basically wanted it done for the lines over here and they've really softened so I'm hoping in three months I won't have any lines here at all to be wow. amazing that, that is amazing absolutely amazing well I can see under my eyes I had a bit of swelling here I don't know if you can see that tiny bit is still left I looked a bit like a chipmunk for a couple of days but you look like a chipmunk most of the time anyway I do I mean I've been <laughs> accused of having implants and everything but I'm afraid I was born with these massive cheeks well, but anyway um, so you've got a new product, haven't you? You've discovered. Oh yes, my Christmas present actually. My girls bought me these for Christmas, um, and they didn't arrive until January. <laughs> oh, that's why you're excited about them now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got them, and they are the new GHDs. 
but they are the portable ones, which will actually use your uh, phone charger, or they actually put a charger in, but it's the same thing. So you can charge them anywhere. You can charge them in your car. What is so fabulous about these, they're different to my old GHDs, but your hair, when you do it, it looks so smooth and lovely. It's just a different look. I mean, what I like about this is it, it, they are different, you know, different plates here than the normal ones. And these, these are the small ones, so you can get big ones too. But these products that they have with them, the, the spray, the heat spray is just lovely. And there's a serum as well um, that I think that the girls bought me. So they obviously think I need more stuff on my hair. But what I love about it, it's got a little case that even when it's hot, when you turn them off, you put it in this little case and it doesn't burn you. you see? Show me the case, show me the case. Oh, lovely. So it's not very big, is it, if you're going on holiday or anything? No, and it's not very big oh. if you want to just put it in your handbag. Um, and also I've been using this as well, this wow treatment that you just put on your hair when it's dry, um, sort of like between washes. Oh, I've seen you, that on Instagram. That yeah, wow really, stuff. it's really, really good. I love all the work. Wow is really good make, actually. I have some really good stuff. I mean, I've got a bag here of thousands of products of, for hair, you know, <laughs> stuff, stuff on. I've been using, obviously, I haven't got my colour done quite recently. So I've still been using the, you know, the, the colour spray from L'Oreal, which I, you know, that to me is just a lifesaver. It's absolutely mm. brilliant. And I was thinking well, it saves you, could... you at least it saves you at least one dying treatment, doesn't it? It saves you having to dye it for at least a week longer. Yeah, exactly. But you were thinking, you know, if you ever wanted to grow your hair out, which of course I would never do, but some people want to, you could actually do that with this because you could wait till it got, you know, quite a far way out. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I mean, I haven't got new products, but I have got a couple of products here now. Have you heard of Reli Revitalash, the one that makes your eyelashes grow? Yeah, you, you told me about that before. It's yeah, this though, is, isn't it? yeah Revi it's over 80 pounds and it's very, very small. Um, but it really, really does work. But we've discovered a new one and it's called Glow, go, glow For It Girl, not Go For It Girl, <laughs> Glow For It Girl. And it's about 30 pounds. Um, it's a little bit slower, but it does work. So that's that's a good alternative. You can't afford 80 quid on Revitalash, which I usually treat myself once at Christmas and then make it last throughout. Although I've had a bit of a cold and it's it, it did actually make my eye really water for a while. So I've stopped for a bit. But I will go back to that. But I just thought I'd take you through what I do to take my makeup off at night. I really only have four products. I honestly, I try loads of different products and I end up going back to my old favourites all the time. And I use uh, the facial wash, Nivea, to take off my eyes and my face with water, just scrub it all around, wash it off, I'm clean, dry my face. And then I use the cashmere Manuka honey. Oh yes, you love that, don't you? I absolutely love it. And... If you pick the right time to order it, it's £25 a pot. But if you keep looking at the um, website, uh, they had an offer on recently. It might still be on now. £8 a pot. Wow. I mean, that, nothing, is it? It smells divine. It feels lovely. Um, it's all sort of got natural antioxidant and everything in there. So I love that. And then I use um, the IS Clinical uh, SPF 40 cream. I use that in the day and I use that at night. My, my cashmere at night and then my is clinical youth eye complex around my eyes and that's me so i'm really really when i travel i'm i travel very light that's me that's my I, I tell you what i do love this is this is the um the garnier molecular water to take your makeup you ever used it yeah i've tried it doesn't take my eye makeup off oh it takes mine off honestly it's like for me it's just like putting like water on the tissue how weird and this really have you used the garnier one no i haven't used the garnier one so no, maybe that's could, better it could be what make that you've used yeah garnier one is absolutely brilliant just takes it takes all the eye makeup off anyway oh well i'll have to revisit that then because i sort of uh poo pooed that off as being a load of rubbish you anyway, it's valentine's so yes. are you going out have you got a date tonight you're not saying she's not saying well i'm actually having a lovely night in with sam tonight oh, good. look i've got some love hearts this is from me to you to say i love you go on open the first one see what it says it says you're fab well as it's valentine's we're gonna be getting ready for our lovely evening out with our loved one so we've got ariane paul here with us to show us what makeup we should be doing for tonight hello ariane how are hello you hello there girls how are you Oh, we're all good. Um, well, you're sitting well, I, there I'm naked. Good. I don't know about I don't know about Linda, but I'm perfect. 
She's always perfect. I'm glad. I'm glad we're all perfect. That's really good. It's nice to see you. But you're sitting there naked today, well, aren't you? Not completely naked. I've got my eyes done and I've got my base, but I haven't done my cheeks properly and I haven't done my lips because I'm going to show you some... And I haven't really finished my eyes either because I want to show you some really great things that you can do for Valentine's Day or any kind of day that you want to just be that little bit more subtle and but yet impactful. You know, it's, but you're not you're not going to do the the red lip then for Valentine. No, oh, good because no. I don't like a red lip on me anyway. Well, well the thing I is, actually think I don't agree with you, Linda. I think you know your pantomime makeup where you do have red lips. I yeah. think you look look fantastic in that. I think it really does. But I think it's it's as a person, it, it's it's all right to wear it on stage, isn't it? Yeah. But but, but in real life, you suddenly go, oh! I just <laughs> feel I feel overdone, and I feel like I look draggy with yeah. it all. Well, the thing is, there are people that are red lips people that maybe some of them may not have discovered it, and, and they are the, that person. I love red lips, but I really am not that keen on, on me either. So I totally agree with you guys because it's not for everyone. So I think that we look down sort of pinky kind of colors. And I think for, especially because we're talking about Valentine's Day, it is really pretty. Um, we're going to talk about long lasting makeup, things that make your eyes look sparkly as well. Not as in, you know, yeah. not sparkle on the eyes, but make them sort of you know glowing and everything like that and just radiant so it's all about that kind of thing rather than that sort of commitment to the red lip brilliant and it's a lot softer on an older lady isn't it pink really it is it's a really and there's so many different shades of pink so if you say oh i'm not a pink person i can promise you i will be able to find a pink for your coloring because there are such a wide range of pinks from the very soft bluey undertones to the soft warm undertones all the way down to a deep fuchsia and chaparelli pink which is that really bright bright pink there's fantastic shades and actually, I took your tip talking about Panto, where you said about the blue tones in the red, and I used it, and my teeth look so much whiter than they did with the previous red. I'd always gone for like a pinky red, and you said go for a, a bluey red, and I went, this is the darkest one I'd ever worn, and it did, it looked better. Ooh, so I thank it, you for it, that. Yeah, it, it's a great thing. If, you, if you're going to have to wear a red or if you want to wear a red, then go for those blue tones because there's some great orange tone reds. But when you smile, it makes you look like you've got yellowy teeth. And oh, that's not a good look. No, no. <laughs> so where do we start with our pink makeup? OK, so what I've done is I've done my eyes and I've done them sort of with a pinky kind of colors. I've, I've done it with this palette here. Let me just pick that up and show it to you. And it is shimmery palette. So I've done a neutral on my eyes and then I've added the shimmer to it. But I'm going to even up that a little bit by making these wet and applying them slightly wet so that you can see that if I wanted to amp up this and then I'm going to show you something else what you can do with this palette as well. So I'm going to put a little bit. So if you're looking at pinks, you can look at sort of um, maroony kind of pinks and, and sort of plummy kind of tones, because those are all in that same family. So I've wet this. I put a little bit on a brush, but look what like happens when I put it on my lid. Oh, it's much more intense, isn't it? So it really amps it up. So you can have that. I'm going to do one side softer and one side stronger so people can, you know, dip in and out what they want. I didn't use an eyeliner as such. I used my mascara as a black liner. So what I did, because not everyone has a black eyeliner and they may think, oh, I don't really want to go and invest in a black eyeliner. So what I did is I took my mascara, I took a little brush and I put a little bit of mascara on the tip of my brush and then I used it as an eyeliner. And does it work? Does it, it doesn't yeah. crack or come off or? It really? Is brilliant. It is a great way to do it, especially for those people who you don't want to maybe invest in a black eyeliner. Now, if you are someone that has a black eyeliner, by all means, because I think that with the pinky kind of colors, you need to have something like a darker color to balance that off. So you don't look like you've got sore rabbity kind of eyes, which we don't, we don't want to have. So that is the one thing. Then I would do, I took my bl my black pencil and I'm going to put a little bit on my fingertip because I want to create a slightly soft, smoky look. So I'm popping that just on the outer corner. As you see how that just gives them a little bit more dynamic lift. 
So yeah, it gives it a much more dynamic look. And you can do that literally with your finger. So a little bit of your pencil. If you've Is got that like a soft cold pencil? Yeah, so, and then you just tap it on the outer corner of your eye. And especially for those of us, myself, that's I'm in saying, that might be having a little bit of a droop going on as we get older, that kind of gravity there that lifts the eye up without making it look too much you could add a little bit underneath if you want to yeah you well. can see the the difference between your two yeah. eyes now one looks like it's and this, that way and yeah. that one's sort of straight i know and this one is the more droopy eye so that is it really shows you how much something as little as that can give it a whole change then we're going to go on to cheeks now Pink on the cheeks, not everyone wants a pinky pinky. So let me show you various colors of pink because there are certain, there's lots of different shades of pink out there. So these are just three shades of pink right there, okay? And these are all from your range of makeup. These are all from my range, but people can choose from whatever. And then this one here is absolutely gorgeous because you can use that one as a bronzer contour or an eyeshadow, and then that one as a blush or on your eyes as well. So you can do... As long as you've got things that you can use for other occasions, I'm not saying go out and buy something pink just for Valentine's Day, because most of us aren't going to want to do that, because you want to know that you're going to get more wear out of it. But then even this palette is brilliant because this can be used as a blush as well. So you can swirl this around, which is what I've just done like that, and then pop that. And you see how that gives a gorgeous highlight on my cheek? Super simple. Like I said, this side is just the normal kind of everyday-ish kind of thing. And then if I wanted to even go a little bit more, I could take the highlighty colors, which are these ones here, and pop that along the top of my cheekbone to lift that. I can take a little bit of that and dust it underneath the arch of my brow, which will lift that. I can put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. So oh, I do that, I do that. It's a really good thing. And it just gives the whole face a lift. Now I'm going to do something as well. I'm going to turn on my heated eyelash curler. Now, if you're not someone that can do false lashes because you're just all fingers and thumbs, um, which, you know, doing your own false lashes can be a bit tricky. Um, so what I did is I took a pl my plain powder and I took a mascara kind of spoolie brush, rubbed it in the, in the powder, coated my lashes first, then put the mascara on, did another coat of powder, then put some more mascara on. And what that does is it gives fullness to the lashes because as we get older, we lose that fullness to the lashes, which we don't want to do. So I'm heating up my heated eyelash curlers and this bit here gets really warm and not so much that it's going to burn you or anything like that. So was that, what was the powder you put it in? Your it's, mascara it's brush. My, it's my, yeah, it's just my invisible blotting powder. So if you've got a loose powder oh, at right. home or any kind of powder, even if you had like a black eyeshadow powder or a dark brown eyeshadow powder, you can do the same thing. And that's just to thicken them up. Yeah, it will thicken them up. You do, uh, you do you know what, Ariane? What you were saying about the, the eyelashes and having problems putting them on yeah. is because the glue is so uh, finickety. Yes. And Linda Lusardi who I, 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 she's, oh, she's there. Linda yeah. Lusardi came onto our, our Wonderbird show and she actually told us about this wonderful, wonderful product, which is revolutionary. It's, this is glue. Yeah. On a, on a, on a, on a like an eyeliner. Well, fantastic. You put this, so I've, I've done it and I've painted the glasses and everything else. But this morning I thought, you know what? I'm actually going to paint it on my eye. So I painted the glue on. on my eye put the lashes straight on and it was perfect. I absolutely love that. That is amazing. That's good. And it? one other tip, one other tip is whenever you put the glue on the lashes, leave them for when you think it's almost too long. Yeah. I you know. know. Yeah. yeah. And then you just pop, they just stick. And Instead of sliding also, around all over your eye trying to get this in. But what's nice about when you put the actual eyeliner, the liner on your eye, it can only stick to there. Yeah. yeah. It can't go perfect. The other thing is to cut the lashes to suit your eye shape. Yeah, yeah. Smaller eyes and that. So I twist the eyelashes around a pencil or, or a brush or something to break the spine, then snip them. Another tip. I know we've, we've digressed from your pink makeup. We'll get well, back I like this. this um, is but I don't stick my lashes on my lash line. I stick it on the lash line there and then I go up into my eyeliner. I put my eyeliner on first and then I cheat it. I don't know if you can um, see. 
No, um, that is, so then, yet then again, actually, another brilliant, because so many women, they put it down and it makes them look like they've got these droopy, sad eyes. And you're like, oh my gosh, that doesn't look good. You are actually better off without them. <clears throat> So I got all excited there. The other thing I do is, is use a cotton, damp a cotton bud because you know sometimes when you're pushing them and it sticks to your finger. So yeah. I, I take a damp cotton bud with just plain water and just push it with the cotton bud. It works really well that way as yeah. well. What I used to do years ago when I was in the theater all the time, I, I used to hate the way eyelashes came over here. So I used to cut them in half, obviously. And then I used to, to put the, I used to have two pairs, so I'd, I'd cut them in half, and each lash I would put the other half on the other side, so I'd make them fuller. <gasps> this is we should be doing one on on, on yeah. eyelashes because this is absolutely brilliant. Anyway, okay. where were we? Okay, where were we? Back, we'll go back to the pink, but we're going to go now to the pink lips. So I am going to show you. Some people, I've discovered this because I've been doing a few lives, and a lot of women don't like wearing lipsticks or lip glosses but they want to have their lips. So I'm just putting on a plain ordinary lip balm. This is not anybody's in particular. It is just a plain lip balm. And then what I can do with that is I can go over it with any kind of lip pencil and the lip pencil, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a really quite a pinky pinky one, but I'm gonna just go over that. And this is a lot, this is one of my long lasting ones. And you can do it with a softer pink or a lighter pink or a darker pink, whatever you want. You've got that, you've got that longevity. It's not a hard line, but then you can reach out for a gloss. I'm just using a soft pink gloss of mine. Or if I'm not a gloss or a lip liner person, or you can go in with something like this one is strawberry cream and it's a, lip, a hydrating lipstick balm. So I could use that. That's a bit like what you use, Debbie, isn't it? Yeah, I use Nivea. Yeah. I use and then all the time, all the time. The yeah. frosted pink, yeah. Yeah. And then you could, if you wanted to, you can use this as a little bit of a blush as well. So if you didn't want yeah. to go invest in a blush, a pink blush, because you're not that much of a pinky person, but you do like that pinky on the lip, you can use a little bit of the blush, the lipstick as a blush, which is really easy to use. And then what else I've done, Ariane, I've, I've before, mm. I've taken the blush, I've taken the pink blush, I've put it on my dry lips, and then I've put a balm over the top. That's fantastic. That, again, like a stain. It really yeah. works. These kind of things really work. So you can experiment around with all this. Now, I've heated up the heated eyelash curlers. And what you do is you put your mascara on first, which is what I've first. done. Oh. And, yeah, the mascara acts like a setting lotion. And then you just hold them on your lashes. And actually that's much, it's much kinder than using the eyelash curlers, which I end up clamping them and then I can't get them apart if I've got my mascara. Yeah. I know, exactly the same. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look this at is them. unbelievable. Yep. So easy to do. And like you said, Linda, is doesn't the other thing is you know you can't sometimes get them apart but the other thing is some people especially if they've got quite a hooded area they can pinch that and i have pinched that myself and the word ouch is i is have mild. to tell you i have to tell you when i was about um oh, 22 23 i was using eyelash curlers on on bare lashes i hadn't yeah. put my makeup on yet and i had my elbow on the window sill oh. and i went like that and down, ripped out half my oh, eyelashes. Oh, no. Actually, made me feel sick. <laughs> I know it was oh. so painful, and it took forever for them to grow back. So that's what I would do. I would do like just a, a soft look. If you are someone that has gone down a little bit, the trick that I've shown you before is where you take the mineral pen and just slide it along here. So you're doing like wings, a bit like you've done with your um, eyelashes there, Linda. So you're gonna just lift that up. So if you feel that you've gone a little bit too far down, then you can just do that. And that just lifts the eyes up. And like I said, you can do it as soft. You can do soft eyes with your pink lips and your pink cheeks. But I think the whole thing has that, that wearability for one, and that softness, and it's still alluring. And it still looks lovely and natural, and it's great for spring, summer, yeah. and great for your Valentines. And then, you know, the man will sit there looking at your cross table thinking, she's got no makeup on. 
Look, it looks quite natural. I mean, yeah. this side is a little bit heavier, but this side definitely isn't heavy at all. And if you don't want to use black, you can use a soft brown if you want to go down that road. And that's even softer. So there's a lot of options and you want to retain that glow to your skin because I'm looking at you two and you've got this wonderful radiance to your skin. Um, you know, you can use a little bit of a highlighter. You can use a little bit of a, like a hyaluronic serum or something like that. That glow, especially as we get older, we need that because it just helps, re it, it bounces the light off so that we don't look uh, dry. Dry, dry and dull, yeah. And, yeah. and not too much powder and things like that, which I know that you yeah. guys don't do that. So uh, it's it's great. Oh, lovely. Yeah. This is amazing. I'm, I'm so glad that you're a gemmel. No, we've got, we've got to get together. I love these sort of uh, sharing tips with each other as well. Oh, because this as well, because it's not like you need to do this. It's... Uh, women coming together, sharing ideas, sharing things that they've discovered. I love all of that because that's yeah. what it's all about. We want to share things that make our lives easier. Um, and yeah. great because if, you know, God forbid that you've missed, you know, you've taken some makeup out with you for an overnight and you've forgotten your eyeliner. Now I know I can use my mascara, mm -hmm. you know, and I can use my lipstick on my cheeks. Well, Ariane, you've been amazing as always. And oh, thank, thank you. you. And do enjoy your Valentine's night. Thank Lovely you for to joining see you. Come us today. back and see us again soon. Oh, without a doubt, I would love to. I, I love doing stuff with you guys. You're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We're going to make you a permanent feature. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, honored. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye for now. Bye bye. 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 Well, wasn't that interesting? She's brilliant. I want to have her on more often. I love talking to her. She's well, she, uh, is it my twin, you see, Gemini's. Yeah, yeah. Very weird. Yes, it's lovely. It's, lo it's lo I just love talking all things makeup. I mean, that's why we started this show. And it's, it's I, mean, I learned so much stuff. I really do. Well, so. You think you're not going to discover anything new, but every day, every time we do a show, we discover something we didn't know. Yeah. And I think Dee is going to tell us something about Valentine's and lips and eyes and feelings and how it works from the inside out. Who knows what she's going to talk about? So let's go to Planet D. Follow me. I'll take you to where you want to be. Hi, and welcome back to Planet D. We're launching this on Valentine's Day, which is so exciting. So I'm going to talk about the love hormone. And it's called oxytocin. So we're talking about oxytocin and that feeling of love. So some of the foods you eat help you with that. And we know the one we all love, chocolate, chocolat, chocolat. I know, it's so exciting. I've got more, I've got more. Oh, more hearts, more hearts, more love. Chocolate is so good for you as well as being, a, you have to have it in moderation, of course, because otherwise, mm -hmm. But no, chocolate's great. And one of the big stimulants for that feeling of love, even if we don't have a partner, I eat loads of it. Anyway, onwards. Granola, granola is really good. It's very healthy, but it also gives you a bit of a high. I found this great one from Jai Tea. They are brilliant. They package it beautifully and it's full of goodness. Manuka's a really good one. Now Manuka honey is very expensive, but I found Manuka Doctor and they are brilliant because they've got some great deals on Manuka honey. So good for you and gives you that high feeling of love. Glorious garlic. Now, that's a strange one, isn't it? But it is so, so good for you. And also, it really stimulates that sort of oxytocin hormone, love hormone. But a little tip, just make sure your other half also has it. Otherwise, it will have the opposite effect. Anyway, happy Valentine's everyone and have a great, great time and let's hope for a, a year of love. Bye from Planet D. See you soon. Bye. Well, I didn't know that, did you? I know I don't know most things that Dee talks about, but I didn't mean that she talks to me yeah. though. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this Valentine's show. So like and subscribe and join us on Instagram. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. And also, actually, if you have any tips that we should know about, we'd, we'd love you to tell us, because I think this is all about exchanging ideas and stuff. And so anything that you tell us, any little hints and tips that you think we would like to know, we would love to hear about. Actually, I need to know about me to because I'm working on it at the moment, but 
it's still so wrinkly. Why does it get wrinkly? But anyway, never mind why. Let's let's see of all the yeah. little tricks that we can do to get rid of the wrinkles. I mean, do you you, you obviously use a heavy cream on it? Do you? Yeah. It's weird. It's just it is what it is. So we've got but to. It is, a, it is a thing that women. Um, you tend to put creams on your face or you've got foundation on your face. And in the summer, that is the piece that's sort of offered up to the sun and you haven't always got protection on it or you didn't have years ago when we didn't really know about sun protection. We will see you in a couple of weeks time with some more hints and tips and uh, anything you've got to offer us, we'd love to hear. So we'll see you soon. Take care. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.